Yeah, what's up, YouTube? Um, I'm doing a video response, my first video response actually, to this um, Jay Z, this is Jesus thing. Um, I, while I was at the gym this morning, I was working out and I was looking at um, some videos about Jay Z dissing Jesus on the Empire State of Mind song and uh, some of the responses. I thought it was very entertaining. Um, basically, my opinion is that I think I value freedom of speech, so uh, I think that people should be able to express themselves, um, knowing that people are, get offended and sometimes you're just going to offend somebody. And I think that's just a reality that we have to deal with if we want freedom of speech. That's the first thing, and I support freedom of speech. And I think YouTube provides a wonderful venue for that. There was this guy named Cordero, which that's really who I'm kind of targeting the response to who I think did the best job from the responses that I heard uh, and breaking down the lyrics of uh, Empire State of Mind um, and basically I agree with him you know it's about you know uh, 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 some people that they are trying to live a certain lifestyle in New York and how they get caught up some people really like females right and uh, and I think he did a good job of keeping it in context because, you know, when these things get discussed, context is one of the things that, you know, your opponent is going to say that you don't understand or you've taken it out of context or whatever. And I think oftentimes it's it's not a good argument, but um, Lee Cordero, I think his name is, um, did a really good job of um, breaking it down. As far as his responsibility, I think it's the best. He said that he's a Christian and, you know, that Jay-Z may not have you know theology theological understanding like he does or some other Christians do I don't think that uh, I think that's a good point on his on his uh, end because I don't know Jay-Z myself but um, from what I know about Jay-Z and his lyrics you know it's pretty well researched I mean Jay-Z doesn't just say stuff usually and not know what he's talking about he you know he's an artist he can play with words and whatever he can make mistakes too. He can say whatever, pretty much whatever he wants. I don't think Jay-Z would intentionally alienate one of his big um, um, demographic bases though. You know, it's not smart business sense. Like he would knowingly uh, diss Christians because Christians would stop buying his albums and you know, at the end of the day, his, he is a business person. Um, so I, I support free speech. I think De Cordero, I think his name is, did the best job of breaking it down. If you wish to watch his video, that would be a good thing. Um, but I, I'm also like um, intrigued by the by the rumors of Jay-Z being a, 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 a Mason and all that. Um, Illuminati or whatever the case is and the rock and all the symbolism. Um, now I must admit I have not been uh, listening to a lot of hip hop because things changed uh, for personal taste you know but um, he might be a mason so what uh, personally I don't think that that's just his personal choice and he's just living his life and people on YouTube have the opportunity to live their lives you know whether it's for Jesus or for not for Jesus you know you are free to make these choices but I think it's um, it was fascinating and uh, um, and there's other people I've seen two other responses there was a, a guy who made a very nice song writing Jay-Z's beat um, and his lyrics were really tight but you know he's like he's pro-Christian so he's gonna say hi you know he, he likes Jay-Z but he's not gonna choose Jay-Z over his 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 God Jesus and uh, that's fine you know free speech expressing yourself um, there was this other two people um, who were you know discussing the same thing talking about the lyrics and they basically said the same thing you know they're kind of disappointed or alarmed that Jay-Z is saying certain things that are anti-Christian I mean basically nobody has to be Christian you know we live in a pluralistic um, environment uh, we don't we don't have to like Jesus we don't like to we don't have to to say nice things about Jesus there's plenty of people who are not Christians and so on and so forth so I think it's it's really much ado about nothing uh, so I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, as far as Jay-Z himself and his choices and the occult, again, 
the the best person to speak about is G, uh, Jay Z, um, and then we would, we would have to go from there. I, I would say that he knows a little, little something about the Bible um, and Jesus and all that. Pretty much, <clears throat> most people have an opinion on the subject. Let not a lot of people are, are hearing about the, the the topic for the first time in their lives. But as we know, just because you know about it, even if you read the Bible or you're one of the many Jesus fans out there, does you could still create controversy because um, there's many flavors of Christians, there's many types of religious people, you know, that this Jesus thing creates. So you still, you know, solve the issue, even if he was a Christian and was saying some kind of pro Jesus thing. So I, I don't think that would solve that necessarily. Um, even if he was, you know, very well read in the theological world, and even if he um, had, you know, some apolog apologetics background, you still have a variety of opinions on the subject still. So, I mean, I I enjoy his music for the most part, and I think that he he's fantastic as an artist, and he continues to just, you know, do things to just keep himself relevant. And I think, you know, in, in this case, you know, controversy is good for business because he keep, keeps them relevant you don't talk about it it's, it's probably the best thing you know you're giving them publicity so um, that's what I really want to say about that and uh, I myself who um, really enjoy the topic of religion especially um, um, like um, multi what's the word comparative religion uh, I do that you know because I, I really like the subject um, I just find it, you know, intriguing and entertaining to to get people's responses. Um, similar to how like um, Muslims supposedly get upset with um, cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad, and you know, non-Muslims Christians, to be more specific, kind of look at them like maybe that they're crazy or a little bit irrational, and how some other people react. You know, of course, not all Muslims choose to react in the um, in a um, you know violent way but uh, when you see how this, some of these people react because they think Prophet Muhammad is just untouchable just like some Christians think that Jesus you know is untouchable as far as critic criticism is concerned then you know I kinda I've, I've never really seen like a YouTube version of that on the Christian side you know with Jesus being the subject so I thought it was pretty entertainment, entertaining. Um, the couple, I don't know if they're together, whatever. The young lady and the young man who um, made their response video were saying how you know if if you're not Christian, you know maybe this may not be for you. And I think that's true. You know, like if you're, if you're not Christian and I'm not Christian, and you know, then it's just not a real big deal. It's someone doing lyrics it's a song some people are going to get offended it's just that's just the way the world works um, I saw somebody writing something maybe not on a video about um, Jehovah the name if you know about the history you know that the biblical God's name is not Je Jehovah J-E-H-O-V-A-H -E I don't know if you guys knew that you can look that up some German guy came up with the name by mistake you know, it's it's closer to being Yahweh, but I mean, we're not even gonna get um, into that whole philosophical, historical thing right now. I just wanted to discuss the Jay Z thing um, once again. Um, give shouts to the D Cordero gentleman who I think did the best job to show that it wasn't really what it seems to be. Uh, no big deal, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. And. Um, but I, I like when people are talking and expressing themselves overall, especially about uh, a subject that I'm, I'm passionate about and I know a little bit about, which is hip-hop music and more specifically religion. So I just wanted to make my response video. So here it is. So I hope I get some responses. That'll be good. You know, get some exchanges and uh, we'll go from there. All right. So see you guys later.